I thought my telling you that I preferred your brother to you might have ruffled your feathers some. I don't care if you want to be with two chimpanzees and a goat. Teresa? Oh, look who's here. Hello there. How you doing? There you are. Swallow? Oh, hello, Clayton. You here again? Hmm? As long as your mother asks, I'll be here, JR. Ray, darling, why don't you sit in your regular place here? Yeah, that's right, Jenna. You sit in Pam's old chair. And, uh, Donna, why don't you sit in Lucy's chair, since we don't have a regular place for you? Thank you. Yeah, that's right, Ray. You sit where Gary used to. You two have so much in common. Donna, Ray, JR. Very nice of you to grace our table. Well, thank you. It is for us, too. We were just out for a morning ride and have to run into Jock. Yeah. Yes, come up here and wait for him. Is that a fact? Oh, uh, don't get up, Ray. Pardon me. Well, I thought you'd still be here, Barnes. Never too far from the free food and drink, huh? Give her her child. She loves him. She doesn't know the first thing about love. She should have him just for putting up with you all these years. He's the only decent thing that's ever happened to her. No one you care so much for Sue Ellen. She's just like your mother. Another drunken slut who ran away. You slime. You know what that lunatic did? What lunatic? Cliff Barnes, that rodent, bit me. Bit you? Yes, he bit me. Look, right here. Look at that. Damn. How, how did he bite you, Jay? With his teeth, Sue Ellen. How the hell do you think he bit me? Hey, Ray. Ray, you see my daddy around here? Sure, uh, your daddy? Uh-huh. Right over there, J.R. Oh, thank you, brother. I'm sorry Ray isn't here. Oh, he'll be sorry he missed your good cooking, Miss Ellie. Well, Ray was always uncomfortable eating with the family. I mean, after all, we do use knives and forks. Mostly, I wonder why I married you in the first place. Well, among other reasons, you couldn't get me into bed unless you did. It seemed to be real important to you then. Yeah. Now, I can't seem to get you out of it. You don't give a damn about anybody, not even your own mother. <laughs> you really are a dumb old cowboy, aren't you? <laughs> well, Gary and Ray. Well, what's a family for if it can't take care of its losers? Get out! <laughs> oh, Lawrence, you just get dumber and dumber every day. <laughs> Even though she's sleeping with another man, well, you have a very perverse way of looking at what's right and wrong, honey. Well, I suppose that's to be expected from the illegitimate child of a ranch foreman and a stepdaughter of the town drunk. Yeah. That's all this family needs. Another half-breed. J.R. You two time and double crossing little rat. Well, and I guess you think that uh, you were just the man to fill my lonely hours. Oh, me? No, no, no. I'm... I'm a married man. I believe in the sanctity of marriage. See, you know it's nice to have lunch with at least one of your mother's children without the fear of getting indigestion. <laughs> I don't want my little boy to pick up a newspaper in the future and find out what a tramp his mother is. You're all heart, J.R. Well, I wouldn't be trying to get him back if it wasn't for you. Perhaps if you had a child of your own, you'd have left mine alone. Morning, Pam. See, you're kind of late, aren't you? Shouldn't you be out meddling in somebody's life? Well, I gotta get going. It's good to know there's a whole wagon load of Krebs just running the ranch now. Well, I'm not a Krebs, I'm a trotter. Oh. Well, I'm bound to sleep more soundly tonight knowing that. But I, really, I there are a lot of people who've worked real hard to make this a nice evening. Well, they ought to be more selective about who they give that award to, honey. All right, JR, what the hell is going on? Don't you keep your voice down. What's eating you? This business about not reading Daddy's will. Lucy, why don't you have that junior plastic surgeon you're married to design you a new face? One without a mouth. Well, we're just gonna be right over there. Your boyfriend can come to your rescue in one mighty hobble. I know my reasons for wanting to keep Pam and Bobby apart. But what I really don't understand are yours. Well, I have a very special feeling for you, sister. I hate her. Pamela, when it comes to all business, you're even less an expert than that unstable brother of yours. J.R. There you are, Mama. Well, Lucy, don't look so glum. Don't you know rich folks are always happy? Wife, sister Jessica, and that son of his, Dusty or Steven, or what the hell ever that rodeo writer calls himself nowadays. Well, like Daddy says, I wouldn't go rushing into things. But marriage is not always a bed of roses. Isn't that right, Pam? But what it will prove is that you are your mother's daughter. 
A scheming blackmailing little tramp. Congratulations, JR. Got somebody else chasing you down the street now. I know you were taught to knock. I was there. What the hell did I say? JR. You are the daddy. <laughs>